One day, while Grandma Melinda was cooking dinner, <laughs> Mavy came home from school with a sad face. Grandma asked Mavy what happened. Mavy said that Addie stole one of her paintings to participate in an art contest and won. Mavy didn't know what to do. Grandma Melinda said, Oh, I see. My dear, you know about the goose princess? I don't know. I'll tell you about her. Once upon a time, the king of a great land passed away and left his queen and their daughter, Princess Elisa, behind. When she grew up, she was betrothed to a prince who lived a great way off. And as the time drew near for her to be married, she got ready to set off on her journey to his country. The mother packed all the jewels and royal garments for her daughter. My dear child, now take these jewels and precious stones with you and be happy with your prince. And she gave her a waiting maid to ride with her <laughs> and give her into the bridegroom's hands, and each had a horse for the journey. The fairy took her magic bracelet that could speak to the princess. Bring it, my dear. It will protect you. Princess Elisa said goodbye to the fairy and the queen and began her journey with her maid and the magic bracelet. After hours of traveling, the princess felt hungry and she said to her maid, Get me some food, dear maid. If you are hungry, dear princess, get off your horse and get your food. The princess was shocked by these words, but she got off the horse, opened the bag of food she brought, and took bread to eat. Suddenly, the magic bracelet said, Poor princess, if her mother knew, her heart would be broken. But the gentle princess said nothing and went on horseback. After hours of moving, the princess felt thirsty, and when they came to a stream, again the princess said to her servant, Get me some water, dear maid. I said take it yourself. Once Princess Elisa got off her horse, she bent over to scoop up the water from the stream with her hand and drink. And the stream was so cool that the princess decided to take a bath. Her outfit and magic bracelet were put on the stream bank. The magic bracelet says, If her mother knew, her heart would be broken. The maid doesn't obey. Please be careful, princess. Then the maid from behind the bush jumped out and threw the magic bracelet into the stream, and it lifted. Oh, then no! the maid gleefully said, <laughs> Now you are weak and powerless. From now on, I give orders, and you must obey my orders. Now I will wear this beautiful dress, and you will wear my ugly dress. I am now a princess. If you tell anyone about this, you'll regret it. The maid wore the princess's beautiful dress. And the real princess wore an ugly dress, because if she didn't wear the maid's dress, the princess has nothing to wear. Finally, they arrived at the royal palace. The prince came to see them, and welcoming the maid like her princess bride. Welcome to my palace, my dear princess. I'm so happy to be here. No, I'm the real princess. She kept talking like that all the way, making me so tired, but she wouldn't stop. She is my servant, but I don't like her anymore. I wonder, my prince, do you have any work for her to do? Well, I don't have anything for her, but I have a boy named Kurdkin who takes care of the geese for me. She can help that boy. No one believed Elisa because she was in a maid outfit and had nothing to prove. She accepted as a maid and hoped that one day the truth would be known. Early the next morning, Elisa and Kurtkin went out of the city and waved away the geese. And when she got to the meadow, she sat down on a rock there and dropped her bouncing curls to smooth and tie her hair neatly. Then she took out a book to read. They watched the geese quietly until dark and then they drove the geese back home. They were both very hungry. The servant's dinner had some veggies and meager bread. Kurdkin ate spontaneously because they were very hungry, but the girl ate softly and slowly, unlike the other servants. 
On the contrary, in the castle, the fake princess was extremely happy, so she enjoyed everything a princess can be, from sleeping on the warm, soft bed to delicious meals, and she ate a lot. The prince was amazed when a princess could eat and drink as if she had never eaten. Not only that, according to the messenger's recommendation, the princess enjoyed reading and walking, but when the prince invited her to the library, she dozed, and when they walked, she cried out pain in her feet just wanting to sit in a place to eat cake and drink tea. Day by day, until one day, Herdkin discovered that the goose girl with him, because he was engrossed in reading, the geese were stolen and the geese were less and less. He repeatedly reminded the girl not to read books while the goose blankets, but Elisa can't stand it while sitting in vain, so she still secretly brought the books to read. Until the geese were half reduced, Kurdkin could not help it. One day, Kurdkin went to see the king and complained. I can't let that strange girl help me raise the geese anymore. Instead of focusing on hurting the geese, she does nothing but read all the time. She didn't even act like a maid, but like a princess. She must be crazy. Kurdkin, tell me clearly what happened. Kurdkin told the king all what happened. Hmm. You should continue with your work. I will consider these. When it was morning, the king went to the meadow, hid in a bush, and then he saw the girl diligently read a book that when the king hugged a goose, it cried loudly, but she didn't know. The king quietly returned to the castle. And when the goose girl returned in the evening, the king called her and asked her why her actions were strange. She burst into tears. I'm the true Princess Elisa, and my maid disguised me. But those are just words. Do you have any proof? I have a talking bracelet, but it's lost. The king was surprised. <gasps> a talking bracelet? Guard, bring up this strange bracelet. The guard brought up the bracelet. Elisa Ooh, realized it? it is her own bracelet. The bracelet saw the princess, also exclaiming joy. Astonished, Elisa asked the king why he had this bracelet. The king just smiled and replied that he found it in the stream while hunting in the forest. There will be no harm to you, dear princess. I will help you. Now I want you to dress up to be worthy of a real princess.
After the princess wore a new dress, the king was amazed. The princess was absolutely beautiful. The king called his son over and told him that he was married to a fake bride because she was only a maid while the bride was actually standing here. This girl is my son's real bride. Then you must be a very lucky person to have such a wonderful bride, father. The young prince was delighted to see her beauty <laughs> and heard how kind, patient she was. And without saying anything to the false bride, the king ordered a great feast to be ready for all his court. Tonight we celebrate the truth and punish the lie. Tonight I tell you all a tale. Listen to me carefully. So he began and told all the story of the princess as if it was the one that he once heard. He then asked the maid what she thought to do. In your opinion, what would you do with such a deceiver? I think it's best for her to be put in jail forever because she said without evidence. Oh, then bring the evidence. When the talking bracelet was brought out, the maid was speechless. <gasps> now that she had her brilliant dress on. Guards, come and arrest this woman. As you wish, you will be treated like that. The maid was punished according to her words. And the prince then married his true wife. They ruled the kingdom in peace and lived happily all their <laughs> lives. <laughs> Maeve learned that liars and bad guys always pay the price because the truth cannot be hidden forever. A few days later, in the press interview, Addie incorrectly answered the color scheme to draw pictures and was very clumsy when drawing a new picture. Later, a journalist hmm. discovered that it was not Addie's painting but Maeve's painting because Maeve's signature was on the back of the picture. Addie was forced out of school for a week for cheating, and Maeve received first prize in the art contest.